The Centers for Disease Control out with new guidelines this week for frontline workers not to engage with violent anti-maskers. News Channel 3's Danny Romero has more on the challenges businesses are facing when it comes to enforcing facial coverings. Gina Gonzalez, manager at El Patron in Palm Springs, checks in every customer at the door. But lately, she's been put to the test. Coming from all over and simply don't think that here in the desert they do have to wear a mask. That is extremely challenging. Gonzalez says they even question her. Why? How do you expect us to eat when we have a mask on? Well, obviously, once you get your food or drink, you take off your mask and you eat and enjoy. Gonzalez says it's a daily battle, along with some customers also aggressive towards her. Very verbally aggressive and threatening, yes. And I've even had where they take off their mask and purposely cough, cough in my face or try to, or they'll throw their mask down and stamp, stomp on it. Those are scenes Gonzalez and her staff hope to avoid. Do their best in handling, handling it to the best of their ability, and if not, just simply pay at the phone and call the police. Despite the troubling circumstances with customers, Gonzalez hasn't called law enforcement yet. Very heartbreaking it is, and it is extremely frustrating. And yes, we're in this industry, and yes, we understand, but we're all in this together. The CDC releasing new guidelines to help frontline workers avoid interacting with those who violently protest not wearing a mask. Some of the guidelines include offer customers options to minimize their contact with others, assign two workers to work as a team, create a safe area for employees. I'm so happy that they are stepping up to plate and willing to help and guide us, understanding all the difficulties and the, uh, and the tragic things that can happen, not only emotionally, but physically as well. In Palm Springs, Danny Romero, News Channel 3.